In this lesson, we're going to be simplifying radical expressions that are non-perfect roots. When you're simplifying a radical expression that's a non-perfect root, you do not want to use your calculator to convert this to a decimal. Instead, you want to use a factor tree to break this down into prime numbers and then look and see what can leave the radical. On a square root, it takes two of the same number to leave a radical. On a cube root, it takes three of the same number to leave a radical. On a fourth root, it takes four of the same number to leave a radical and so on. So on the first example we have the square root of 24x to the fifth. If you break down 24 in a factor tree you would get 2 times 12, 12 breaks down into 2 times 6, 6 breaks down into 2 times 3. Now we have a pair of twos, they're going to leave the radical and you have a 3 and a 2 left over which multiply together to make 6 left inside the radical. With the x's you have two groups and one left over so all out in front you have 2x squared and then left inside you have the 6 for the coefficient and an x left over. On number 2, this is a cube root, so when we break down 108 we're looking for groups of three things. 108 breaks down into 36 times 3, 36 breaks down into 6 times 6, and each one of the 6's break down into 3 times 2. You have three threes; they're going to come out and leave the radical you have two twos left over, they multiply together to make four left inside the radical. And with your C's, you have three groups and one left over. So all total out in front, three C to the third, all total left inside, four C. Alright, try number three and pause the video until you're ready to go over this one. When you break down 48 in a factor tree, we do four times twelve, 4 breaks down into 2 times 2, 12 breaks down into 2 times 6, 6 breaks down into 2 times 3. This is the fourth root, so it takes four of the same number, which we have four twos that are the same. They're going to come out. A 3 is left over, which is going to stay inside the radical. With your y's and your z's, we have one group of y's and one group of z's. They're going to come out in front with the 2. And then your 3 and 2 z's are left over inside. So 2 y z to the um, first power, the fourth root of 3z squared is left over. When you're multiplying radicals, you go ahead and multiply what you see inside the radicals and then break it down into factor tree just like we did on the previous slide. So 5 times 25 is 125, x squared times x to the fourth is x to the sixth. Then break this down into factor tree. 125 breaks down into 5 times 25, 25 breaks down into 5 times 5, this is a cube root, so you need three of them to make a complete group. You have a complete group of fives. They'll come out of the, of the root, and you have nothing left inside for the numbers. With the x's, you have two complete groups and none left inside. So 5x squared, no radical, anything is left over, so just 5x squared is our answer. On number two, we're going to go ahead and multiply what we see. 7 times 14 is 98. x times x squared is x to the third break down 98 in a factor tree, 2 times 49, 49 breaks down into 7 times 7. This is a square root, so it takes 2 of the same number to make a group. The 7's make a group, they'll come out, 2 is left over, it will stay inside. With the x's, you have one complete group and one left over. So out in front is your 7 and your x, left inside is your 2 and your other x. On number 3, we cannot multiply a square root and a cube root. They have to be the same kind of root. Square and cube are not the same, so you cannot multiply these two problems together. This is not possible. They're different types of roots. All right, try number one on the more multiplication and see how it goes. Four times three is 12. Eight times 10 is 80. So first we start off with 12 square root 80. Now you're going to break 80 down in a factor tree. 80 is 5 times 16. 16 is 4 times 4. Now you can keep breaking down the 4's, but you have a group here, so we're going to go ahead and take those 4's out, which are a group. When they come out, they multiply by the 12 that's already out there to make 48, and the 5 is left over inside. So 48 square root 5 is the answer to number 1. Try number 2. Pause the video until you're ready to go over this one. On number 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 
6 times 12 is 72, so we start off with 10 cube root 72. Now we're going to break down 72 in a factor tree. That's 2 times 36. 36 is uh, 6 times 6, and then each one of the 6s break down into 2s and 3s. This is a cube root, so it takes 3 of the same number to make a group. We have that with the 2s. When the 2s come out, they're going to multiply by the 10 that's already out there, making 20. And the two threes that are left over multiply together to make nine left inside. So 20 cube root nine is the answer to number two. Number three, we're going to distribute the three square root seven to both terms that we see in the parentheses. Three times two is six. Seven times 21 is 147. So six square root 147 plus three times five is 15. Seven times 14 is 98. So plus 15 square root 98. Now break down 147 in a factor tree and break down 98 in a factor tree. When you break down 147 in a factor tree, you have a group of 7s that will come out. As those 7s come out, they're going to multiply by the 6 that's already out there, which would make 42, and the 3 will stay inside the root. When you bring out the other group of 7s, they'll multiply by the 15, 7 times 15 is 105, and the 2 will stay inside that root. So 42 square root 3 plus 105 square root 2 is the final answer to number 3. Foiling, same process, first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. For first times first, 3 times 2 is 6, outer 3 times 4, which is 12, square root 5. Inner, 2 times 2 is 4, square root 5. And last, 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 5 is 25. Now look at the end number, 8 square root 25. 25 is a perfect square, it's 5. So when you um, simplify this, 8 times 5 would be 40. And that would be our next step, would be to simplify this last term to 40. We have like terms of 12 square root 5 and 4 square root 5. They can combine together to make 16 square root 5. And we have like terms of 6 and 40, which would make 46. So final answer will be 46 plus 16 square roots of 5. On number 2, try to FOIL this. Pause until you're ready to go over it. First times first would be square root 9. Outer times outer is negative square root 21. Inner times inner is positive square root 21. Last times last is negative square root 49. Now your middle terms are going to cancel. Your beginning term and ending term can break down. Square root 9 is a perfect square, that's 3. Square root 49 is a perfect square, that's 7. And 3 minus 7 is negative 4 for a final answer. When you're adding and subtracting with radicals, you must have the like terms in order to be able to add and subtract them. 6 fourth roots of 5 added to 3 fourth roots of 5. We can add these up. 6 plus 3 would be 9, so 9 fourth roots of 5. 4 fifth roots of 6 plus 2 fourth roots of 7. The roots are not the same. The number inside the radical is not the same, so we cannot add these together. All right, try the first one. 5 cube roots of x minus 3 cube roots of x. They're both cube root of x, so we can go ahead and subtract these. 5 minus 3 would be 2, so 2 cube roots of x. Now you try the one below it. We have like terms. 2 plus 3 is 5, so 5 square roots of 7 is correct. On the top left corner, we have different types of numbers inside the roots. We cannot add these together. And the one below it, we have like terms. 4 plus 5 would be 9, so 9 square roots of xy. If at first your roots are not the same, you cannot add and subtract them. However, it is possible to break down numbers in factor trees, and then they will be able to add or subtract together. Look at this first one. When we break down 18 in a factor tree, 2 times 9, and the 9 breaks down into 3 times 3, we have a group of 3s that will come out of that root and multiply by the 6 that's out there, making 18 square roots of 2. Likewise, when you break down square root of 8, 
2 times 4, 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. If you have a group of 2's that will come out, they'll multiply by the 4 that's out there to make 8, and a 2 is left over inside the root. When you break down 72, you have a group of 6's that come out, they'll multiply by the 3 that's out there, leaving you a 2 left inside. And now you have like terms for all three of these different terms and we can combine them together. 18 square roots of 2 plus 8 square roots of 2 minus 18 square roots of 2 would be a total of 8 square roots of 2. Try this last one. Pause the video until you're ready to go over it. Alright, square root of 50 breaks down so that a group of 5's will come out. 2 is left over inside. 32 breaks down so that a group of 4's come out. It will multiply by the 3 that's out there to make 12, and 2 is left inside. On 18, you have a group of 3's that will come out. They multiply by the 5 that's out there to make 15. 2 is left inside. Now we're going to add and subtract our like terms. 5 plus 12 is 17, minus 15 is 2, square roots of 2. Final answer.